Hello guys, in today's video I've got 5 special exercises for you and your arm wrestling performance. So, let's delve in. So, in arm wrestling, we train a lot of tiny special muscles that not everybody or every bodybuilders train and nor they know about them like the pronator teres, pronator quadratus and every kind of muscles like this in order other people know from the outside world like the calisthenics and things like that and uh, this video will focus on five of these special muscles which are firstly we will talk about internal rotation with external rotated shoulder so this is the first exercise then exercise for the hand finger flexion then we've got one for the chopping motion or the low hand one for the riser and one for the adductor of the thumb and flexor of the index finger so they will focus mostly on hypertrophy and I recommend doing them in the off season when you're far away from a competition and you don't care that much about them and you wanna get bigger muscles that's because a bigger muscle has a more potential to grow respond better to strength gains when we go to a competition or when we approach a competition and we want to pick out and we start taking these exercises away from our program and we start to get into isometrics small ranges of motion peak force production and coordination for the style we're going to go in and uh, yeah start with the lightweights so that I will not say in the video more like this start with lightweights and start and do the concentric slow and things like this to grow more muscle by using time under tension so for the first exercise we've got a pulley system we need a strap you can also go to a commercial gym again don't do this exercise in a commercial gym if you are that type of shy guy if you are a guy that don't give a, 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 a food in the ass about the guys that stare at you and you're very brave and you're strong then go in the gym and do them you will attract a lot of girls so most people strain their internal rotation by taking the pulley in the front which this position places almost no tension in a stretched position it's good when we want to set a PR or we work on peak strength or other things so the most amount of force is when the subscapularis so for this exercise we've gone into use more of the subscapularis I know the front deltoids and the pecs also accomplish internal rotation but the subscapularis does the most amount of job so they do it like this again great great thing I shown in one of my videos best ways to train your side pressure link up in the card section so this is not really the best way yes it's great better than doing nothing better than an isometric but still it doesn't stand any chance about the exercise I'm going to shoot this is the second way and it's a little bit better but still can be done so in this position again parallel to the 
force and this will go into joint compression it will deactivate the subscapularis no force at all and in the neutral position most amount of tension as you go into external rotation no tension this is better if you are a type that type of armor sort who does like a Devon Lawrence style with an open top roll and you want to maintain your side pressure neutral and things like that. The way I will show you is by again you don't have to do it like me I sit on the table because my <coughs> cable is a little bit smaller so start with taking the strap on your hand you can get to face to the knuckles to make the exercise a little bit harder but it's enough to face the top elbow tucked inside the body for beginners look at the hand to avoid snapping the humerus bone I'll grab the no oh it break almost I'll grab the side of the bench and we just get tension and this is perfect we've got maximum amount of tension in the most stretched position and you can go like this and do the portion that's because this is the big money so this is what will give you the most amount of bang for your bucks if you go to fully shortened position again forearm is perpendicular no amount of tension so we want to stay here and start with lightweights and you will see that by time passing by you will get a stronger elbow, stronger humerus, stronger shoulder by exposure you will see that you will can test your limits by getting more frame on frame test your limits more push them up you will see that you are actually pretty quite strong and you should not be scared to apply side pressure when you are externally rotated get right there good so if you are a little bit more advanced, again, do not attempt PRs. You can also try by getting the elbow as out of the body as you can. As much lockage as you can. And again, start with 2 to 3 kilos. You can also get shoulder commitment in and looking again on the hand and boom and boom and boom and you will feel the subscapularis burning after a set of 30 reps 30 to 40 reps and great way there are some people that arm wrestle like this and the best example is Todd Hutchins he goes fully externally rotated before he applies any side pressure again not the best position when we will taper down to peak then this bigger subscapularis will increase our side pressure and internal rotation getting better hooks so I will pause the video to get to the second exercise and I'll come back in a minute Pause. so I've come back with the second exercise so the first was about the shoulder the second is about the hand so everybody knows what cupping is or you might know cupping is actually not only wrist flexion is actually comprised of wrist flexion and finger flexion 
not containment. Containment is a different thing. Containment is this act of squishing the fingers. Com uh, finger flexion is this action. So this is the most stretched position, this is the most contract position, not this. And if you only work on your wrist flexion, you will see that you will eventually get them in balance and start to get more and more at a disadvantage because top rollers see that and they feel that. And if they know that the wrist flexion is very strong and the fingers are very weak, then they will 100% go for the pose and they will not hold on to you and attack the fingers. And after they attack the fingers, with the fingers almost straight, your cup will just automatically bend back. Even if you do like 30 kilos. So, we've got the wrist wrench, up pulley, about hand height, hand height is determined by doing this. So, we will need uh, the wrist wrench to have a strap because we're getting into exposure and don't be fooled by going like this and doing it by the front. No, we want to place the strap a little bit higher than knuckle, so this is on the knuckles, we want to get about here, so we'll start here at the neutral position and getting all the stretch and we will just Flex and extend, flex and extend, I'm going to get a pump in this video and I'm going to flex the forearms for you at the end. <coughs> so, start polite with this exercise too, there's not a big injury risk. But let me show you what happens when we try to do this exercise without the strap. So we go in so when we are mostly in this position, yeah, we can hold it, but if we go to the stretch position, this is what will happen. And you can destroy the pulley like. I almost did, just, just for demonstration, and destroy the handle or maybe injure yourself, but every sport has its limits. So this is for finger flexion, you will see that as you do this exercise, your hand will also start to thicken up, get a little bit wider. And now my hand, my right hand, is a little bit bigger, actually one centimeter angle, 45, by my, then my left hand, because I'm doing pumpkin training, and I started it seven months ago, goes great, no back pain, no arm pain, nothing, feels great. I will get into pumpkin training in another video, but that's not for today. So, this is related in a video on how to optimize your hand training for arms. You can go on my channel. But, as I showed you, this will eventually turn your cup to be more stronger You when you will pick out you'll see that you can get more strength and more things out of the wrist flexors are also now 
the third exercise that I've got for tonight is grab a dumbbell with only one side loaded let me put this into place for now so the third exercise is for the ulnar deviation or the extensor carpi radia or larvis so let's say you're doing one day your basic pronation curls and you start to feel a pain right here and you say what's happening why do I get pain I told the pronator terrace it's right here not right here that's a forearm splint basically some pain because of imbalances that's because most arm muscles tend to rise and neglect the ulnar flexion most arm muscles neglect it because if you are super heavyweight you mostly care about post if you are a heavyweight you can and heavyweight and lower you are mostly a hooker we don't see that many low hand top holes Vitaly Lalitin is a good example he drops his wrist and he targets the lunar flexion also Ryan Bowen is a good example so again put your hand on the side with the dumbbell we want to get like this uh, getting to 130 degrees open and we want to go to a big stretch and drive up drive up big 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 stretch big stretch and again and again and again until the set finish again not heavy weight you can injure this part which then will ruin your top roll and you don't want that now I've seen people do this exercise like this and training the most shortened position again okay. it's better than doing nothing and especially for an untrained muscle like this it matters more than anything but it's not really great yeah if you can do it like this then 100% but that's a harder exercise I want to focus on the muscle not the muscle that support this action don't fall off again this is an extensor and we don't want to be cut in this exercise let me see if I can show it to you I can get a deep stretch I've got a lock and pain pain in the other side of the wrist totally stupid to do this pain and we don't need pain let me do something I will close the door so as you start to grow this muscle you will see that your offensive hooking ability will start to improve your initial will be more protection your low hand top roll will be better and you will become a better armor son because less pain more muscle it's a better thing. So let me put this down and get into the next exercise for which we'll use the easy bar. We are on the fourth exercise. So I've got an easy bar again with a reverse kind of grip. So what this lift will target? We've got the riser and most people targeted by supporting their 
elbow flexion and doing it like this and they can bang out 30 to 40 kilos but that's not exactly exactly targeting it the i think that 30 percent is going into elbow wrist compression so high risk low pay some people can bang out a lot of weight but if they involve elbow flexion they will see that uh, they can't even move like they do 30 kilos they can't even move 50 kilos having elbow flexion and they will think hmm maybe elbow flexion is the limiting point mistake it's your brain that's holding you back. You're kind of stupid. This muscle is called extensor carpi radialis. This bone muscle. Again, don't mismatch it for the brachioradialis. If I down my wrist and flex my brachioradialis, you can see it. But this muscle kind of disappears. But if I rise up my wrist, you can already see it. It attaches in the humerus, crosses over the joint, which means that it aids in elbow flexion. Not that much, but substantially. If we increase this muscle by 10%, you will see like 2 to 3% of strength increase in your elbow flexion. It attaches both to the wrist and it has two main roles, wrist rise and elbow flexion. So, you take the easy bar, tumblers grip, and most people do their reverse curl, curls like this. Just like this. Come here. Good. Not bad, will increase your back pressure, but it will not target the ECR. So, how you want to target this is by, again, if you care about the shortened position, you can go like this, and you can already feel it moving, I don't know, here I'll show my right because it's my pumpkin, but you can do this exercise. 10 times better by also adding the lengthened position. So we will start again in this position, not, not zero tension, but more like 10% tension. This board has like 6 kilos, maybe I feel like 500 to 600 grams. So I'll start like this with my hands in front. Oh. It feels on the elbow, done, with my wrist flexed and dropped and I'll just drag it and extend my wrist and this will feel a lot in the ECR. Again, drag, drag, drag and you will feel it. Feels great, great, great to do. This is a strange exercise, but I promise you that your back pressure and your wrist weight rise will never fail you with this exercise. Now I'll put the bar down to show you the final exercise, and we will do a side note. Please consider subscribing to my channel to not lose any more news on arm wrestling training, discussions, events, uh, reviews and things like that. I post every week, uh, every Monday and click the subscribe button. So for the Last exercise, I'm going to change the 
restraint for the strap. Again, let's drop this a There, good. And this muscle is the abductor of the thumb and flexor of the index finger. So it has three main roles. Abducts the thumb, flexes the index finger and also rises the index finger. I don't know if you can see it. Good. And in short it will give the opponent a smaller coverage around of thumb again bigger thumb pads better the bigger this muscle is and if it's huge let's say they come here you almost on them they put their thumb there try to cut but they get in your pronation line because they kind of removed their coverage and this means to them also less forearm expression for pronation so there's really like three ways to target these muscles my favorite way is with the gripper so we place the gripper between the index finger and the thumb and we get to a very deep stretch and then we flex and again deep stretch big contraction again take it slowly build muscles I do it 10 kilos it's already a strong muscle for me you can also target it by going with a poly system and the way you're going to target it is by blocking your thumb and oh it slipped off because of sweat and we're going to do it like this just flex 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 extend this is where the way you want to target it and there's one more way and it's with the band a band just to now with the band is less and what I can say now that you've mastered these five exercises there's one more that nobody talks about and they know it, but they don't tell it, so it's holding you back. And it's in my end screen and in to the corpse section. In that way, they will delve in how to target it best, what weight, and do's and don'ts. See you in the next video, and bye.